then you go, oh wait, we changed our mind. Hey folks, welcome back to Bolts and Brass. The topic for today is the pistol brace issue. And there's a lot of layers to this, but the key ones are that they've now asked the Department of Justice, not specifically the ATF, has asked for a delay to review the comments because they got more than 200,000 comments. I believe the estimate was like 211,000 or something. And they can't get that done in the normal time period. Now, I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that the overwhelming majority of those comments basically boil down to pound sand, right? Uh, so I'm not sure how much reviewing you need to do to know that this is a bad idea. So let's, let's talk about this sequence, though. And I'm not going to get in detail. I'm not going to you know, dig into the weeds here. This is, you know, they have flip-flopped repeatedly over the years, which meant that the industry really didn't, didn't embrace it. It was, it was a couple companies trying to make this happen. And until the ATF basically said, hey, this is how we're going to look at it. This is what's going to be okay. This is what isn't. And even before they said, you know, hey, if you occasionally shoulder it, it's not the end of the world. We're not going to come down and you look at a ton of bricks. Even before that, they had kind of come to an agreement with the companies doing this. And suddenly there was widespread industry adoption, widespread user adoption, millions and millions of these things. Uh, the, the low estimate, the, the lowest, you know, official estimate I've seen is 3 million, going as high as 7 million, and I've seen as high as 11 million when you factor in, you know, homemade stuff, uh, modified stuff, you know, it just, it's a crazy number of these things. And then you go, oh wait, we changed our mind. But with no legislative update, no judges' rulings, no congressional rulings, nothing. First of all, it's going to be a lot like a lot of the previous bans on this kind of stuff. Most people are not going to even pay any attention. They might not even know. Okay, remember, people literally, if you're into this industry, if you're into this stuff, you pay attention. But a lot of people, they don't pay any attention. They have no idea. So they're not even going to know. That, call that half. Call it even three quarters. But then there's the rest. We'll just say it's, if it's three million people, we'll use their low estimate, right? That's a million people. 200 bucks and some paperwork? Sure. Because keep in mind, the, the overwhelming, I mean, 99.9% .9 of the people with these things are law-abiding day-to-day citizens. I mean, they are, they are everyday people. So now a million of them, minimally, are going to have to do the NFA paperwork, pay their $200, and wait. They can't process 200,000 comments. There's no background. It's literally, you know, check the box for the column. You know, is it pro or against, basically. Nobody's going to prison because you miscounted a comment, right? The ATF has a very small office that does NFA stuff. Even if you double or triple the number of people, it's a million right now. Boom. If you don't process this, what are they supposed to do? How many years are they supposed to wait with a felony hanging over their head? What's the grace period for these people? Because really, it's going to be several million. It's not going to be... 1 million. It's probably several million because I'll just, I'll just throw Crispy under the bus with this. You have people who, it's not one brace. It's, it's five, six, eight, ten, a dozen, two dozen. So, and, and keep in mind, that's, that's still within the million, right? Uh, or the three million or the seven million. It's, it, that was the total count of braces, not the people. They're going to put in their paperwork and what are they supposed to do? not use those guns? 
I mean, they, they've submitted their paperwork. It was a perfectly legal item previously. No law has changed. It's, it's literally somebody saying, you know what, we're going to define this differently in some paperwork. But, but there was no new law. So you created felons with no new law. Interesting. Can you imagine the court case where somebody goes before the judge and says, Your Honor, what I did was legal on Wednesday. It was illegal on Thursday. Congress was not even in session. No law has changed. Somebody that I, I don't even know who, I can't put a name to it, it's some faceless bureaucrat, made a change in a definition with no oversight from Congress and made me and millions of other people felons. So added on top of this, you have the fact that the NFA records are already screwed up. Uh, they are not complete. There are gaping holes in those records that they, they have lied about repeatedly in court. The ATF on the legal team, not the enforcement side, but the, the part that goes to court, really doesn't want to talk about NFA. Uh, they have an internal policy of the records are perfect, we never make a mistake, this is our stance in court 100% of the time. It is 100% accurate. Out of court, our records suck. We have no idea. That creates a problem because if you start going to court for NFA related things and somebody says, well, your honor, I put in my paperwork eight months ago, but your honor, there's, there's gaps in the records. We've, we've seen this in the past. We have internal memos talking about it that are now available in the public. So how can we charge somebody who claims they submitted the paperwork with violating it, with not having submitted the paperwork? Do you really want to go to court and open that ball of wax if you're the ATF? They are not going to open that ball of wax. Um, but that doesn't mean they're thinking about it that way. That doesn't mean that they don't think they've got immunity that way. So who knows? Um, uh, you know, with something like this, this is not your hill to die on, uh, metaphorically or otherwise. But it can be a wedge. It can be something where you can stand up in front of the media, in front of a public audience, locally, state. I don't know if federal would really work out well. Mainstream media is pretty, pretty set in their ways, right? Why is this a felony and this isn't? Trying to explain that away, trying to rationalize that to a non already anti-gun audience is going to be very difficult for them. Uh, when you stand up in front of the court of public opinion, people go, what's the difference? I mean, this is not a case of that mem that, you know, that two different things and I can't, you know, they're the same picture. No, they really are. They really are the same picture. It's holding up two functionally identical items, one of which is easier for a disabled individual to use and one of which is not. You have now made it harder for the person with disabilities, whether they've got something wrong with their, their primary hand, they've only got one hand, um, hell, maybe they don't have a hand at all. They've rigged up a different trigger system you know, and they literally don't have a hand. That's an avenue. That's, that's how to fight this. So that's all, folks. Uh, take care. Have fun. Stay safe. Keep shooting. And don't let them brush this stuff under the rug. The Biden administration, even more so than we've seen in the past, uh, and this is not new to them. This is not new to one side or the other. This is a political thing. They love to brush stuff under the rug by, oh, new crisis, new crisis, new crisis. Well, what about the five crises that are still going on that you don't want to talk about? But the media lets them get away with it because it's new and fresh, gets viewers. So keep their feet to the fire, stay on these topics, ask questions, send a letter to your congressperson, email, 
go to their go to their website and you know the the contact us page. Hey, what's going on with this? What's your stance on this? What's being done? And don't don't let it go away. Don't let this stuff get hidden. Because remember, the legislative session is coming to an end. They're going to be brushing this stuff through. Don't let it get brushed away.